Hello guys, uh, it's a pleasure to have you back on this channel and watching this video. Today we are going to talk about the show option dialog box, which is a Java graphical user interface dialog box that allows the user to show an output dialog box. And it also gives the user the possibility to define his own button options. So I'm going to show you this how to create this uh, show option dialog box in this video. So as you can see on the screen here, this is a show option dialog box where you have a title, you have an icon. Uh, this is an icon that we have, uh, I have defined myself and you have a message and I have three button options that I have also defined on my own. So I'm going to show you how to do this particular show option dialog box. So let me simply delete all of this and we're going to write this code from scratch. So the first thing you need to know is that when you want to actually create a show option dialog box, you need to write the J option pane that show option dialog box. So you already have an option. I will simply press enter. So the first parameter that we need to define is going to be the parent component. We are not going to use it in this particular example. So I'm simply going to write null. We need to have a message that will show on the dialog box. So I'm going to pass a string. I'll say, are you okay? And then the third parameter will be the title. I'm also going to pass a parameter. So the title of this particular dialog box is going to be demo show option dialog. Then I'm also going to pass an option type. So this is going to be um, the parameter that will allow us to define, to determine our button options. But these button options are Java uh, predefined button options. So I'm simply going to say J option pane that, and here we can choose from this list of options, but I'm going to write yes underscore no underscore console underscore option. Then the next parameter is going to be the message type. This is actually going to determine the type of icon that will show on a dialog box, whether it's going to be a warning icon or an information icon or an error uh, type icon. So for this example, I'm going to choose an information message icon. So I would say J option pane that information message. Okay, so this is going to be that icon. So now the next parameter is the icon. I told you at the beginning is that with this particular dialog box, we have the possibility as a user to define our own icon to show on a dialog box. So this icon needs to be an image. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an image icon element. So I'm going to say image icon. I'm going to call this my underscore icon equal new image icon. And inside the brackets, I have to specify the path to my image. Okay. The image that I want to use as an icon. So as you can see here on the left, I have a folder called the images. And in that folder, I have pasted an image uh, called my underscore logo.png. So this is an image. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass path to that particular image inside the brackets here. Okay. So uh, inside the double quotes. Uh, so I'm going to say images forward slash, as you can see, then the name of the logo the image. So that will be my underscore logo.png like this. So now all I am going to do is that I'm going to pass this particular image icon as a parameter here. So I'm going to pass my underscore icon as a parameter. So the next parameter is going to be the parameter option. So this parameter is actually allowing us to determine our own button option. And this parameter must be a array. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to declare an array of string that I'm going to call btn underscore options. So meaning that this is an array of button options and I'm going to determine the elements of the array. So they are going to be strings here. The first button option, I'm going to say, yes, I am. So it's actually in response to the message that we passed. Is it, are you okay? Uh, the message we passed here. The second button option, I'm going to say, no, I am not. The third option, I'm going to say, I do not know. So this is 
the array of string. So I'm going to pass this particular array as a parameter now. So I'm going to say btn underscore options. This is going to be parameter here. So as for the last parameter, this parameter is actually going to determine the button or the button option that will be selected by default. So I can choose from the value zero up to the value two. I can say zero here, or I can say one, or I can say two. Let me say zero. This is actually, zero is actually going to select by default the first button option. So now this is the syntax of this particular show option dialog box. When I run, as you can see, we are having the title here as we defined, demo show option dialog. We have the icon here, which is the image that we also defined. And we have the message, are you okay? And then we have the button options, three button options, according to this array that we defined here and then passed as a parameter in our option dialog box. Okay, so this is, so you will see that if I, for example, I say that I don't want to define my own button options. So I pass this parameter as none. And then when I run, we are going to have the predefined uh, Java button options as we define here, the J option pane, yes, underscore, no, underscore, cancel. All right. So that's it because we here, we say that we don't want to pass our own button options. The same thing for the icon. If I say that I don't want to define my own icon. So I will say that this parameter is null. And then when I run, we're going to have the predefined information message icon showing on our dialog box. So this is actually what I wanted to show you concerning the show option dialog box. I really hope that this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and comment if you have any question and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next video.